Welcome to the My Creative Days podcast, where we will talk about all things DIY, home decor, decorating tips, and creating a beautiful home on a budget. I am hoping our time together will spark a creative idea, help you plan your next DIY, or inspire you to finally tackle that project you keep putting off. Grab your favorite cup of motivation and let's chat. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Um, It's been a while since I've recorded a podcast because I have been sick. I thought I was just getting a cold, but Landon decided to bring home um, a sinus infection. (laughs) Him and he got it first and then he gave it to me. um, And him and I were just down and out for a while with it. I just, I didn't, wow, it was crazy. I had to go to two different doctors and Finally, once we got on meds, like this, the second day after being on meds, we felt a lot better. But oh, my goodness, (laughs) we're still like not, you know, 100 percent, definitely a lot better, 95 percent. But but anyway, so if I sound a little hoarse or um, I'm hoping I can get through this without coughing, but uh, but I'm 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 100 percent better than I was. So so that's good. Uh, Today, I wanted to come and come on and share some easy ways to save money decorating your home. Now, um, we all want a beautiful home. We all want a home that we are proud of. We want a home that that we want our friends and family to come over and be comfortable in and and all the things. But a lot of times, well, and I shouldn't say a lot of times because not everybody is like this, but... (laughs) If there's a way for me to save money to get the look I want or the things I want for a lot less, I'm going to do that. I'm going to find a way to do it. I don't care if it's, um, you know, if it's decorating your home, if it's a furniture piece, if it's clothes, if it's um, groceries, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to find a way. And I think I was just made that way. Um, I definitely, I get that from my mom, um, but she's somebody that... Uh, she goes the total other way. She just would not, she just wouldn't buy it. (laughs) So she wouldn't, you know, and back in the day, um, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money, but, um, back in the day, there weren't as many options as there are now with, you know, coupon codes. And my mom was a huge, she would use coupons. She was a huge thrifter. Um, we would go to, I don't remember yard sales as much as I do the thrift stores going with my mom, but she would also do the, you know, where you would cut off the UPC labels or the whatever you needed to, and then you would send that in and get, you know, I, I don't know, whatever, an ornament or whatever it is. Um, my mom was huge into that. And so um, I just, I grew up around it. Um, if my mom, my mom was huge into, my dad would rescue furniture. <clears throat> he used to do some um fire restoration and like insurance and stuff. And so if there was like a fire, he would go in and, you know, do all the stuff. But there may be pieces of furniture that were in there. And, you know, if he, he found something great, uh, he would ask my mom if she wanted it. And I just remember her in the backyard refinishing furniture. And that's the hutch. If you if you were ever watching me on Facebook or on Instagram, that is the hutch that we have in our living room. That's one of the pieces she did. And I remember her doing um, it's, it's, that's one thing that will never be for sale. Um, it's, it's a piece that will be with me forever. So, so anyway, so I get this, I know I get, like, I was just (laughs) born and raised this way. And so, um, I just, you know, I always say, Matt and I always say, if we ever won the lottery, we would still want to, you know, um, I mean, there would be a lot of different things, uh, but uh, like, I would still want to decorate my house with found items or like, you know, with, you know, one of a kind pieces and, you know, antiques here and there. Um, so I would definitely like, I just don't see this ever going away, but, um, you know, I will get questions on Instagram or Facebook and, you know, people wanting to decorate their home, but they just don't have the budget to do it. And listen, (laughs) When I we bought our first home, I we did not have the budget either and I just had to get creative and over the years, you know, fell in love with the whole, you know, getting the look for a lot less. Like there's and I'm a big saver. Matt is a spender in the relationship. I am a big saver. So if there's a way for me to save money and still get what I want, like I'm going to do that all day every day and then put my money into savings and 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 <clears throat> invest in other things. Um because there's just, I just am, I am the person that's like, well, if I can get it cheaper, depending on what it is, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. So today I thought I'd share some things that have saved us 
a ton of money, (laughs) me a ton of money. And coming from somebody like I am somebody that gets bored easily with with the way the rooms look in our home. Um, So I am, it's embarrassing, but every room in this house has been painted at least four times. I mean, it's like, yeah, this is great. So now let's just, you know, I want a project. Um, I want to, I want to paint some, let's just paint the room. That'll just make me feel like the whole room is, is, is different. Um, The magic of paint. Uh, But then when we started getting, doing flip houses on our own, that get like gave me that fix. Like, our home kind of sat on the back burner when we were doing those, and we are always looking for our next one. But um, it just gave me that, you know, you'd go into these houses that were not taken care of, and to be able to bring them back, it was just, that was my, that gave me that cre- creative, you know, fix that I needed uh, when, because our room, or our room, our home, we've done it. I said to Matt, uh, we actually just, our last project that we've done in the house is our bathroom. Um, I, forever, I was like, I'm just not going to do the bathroom. Um, and we did everything except for kind of like the shower area. Uh, but literally, I don't know if there's much more we can do here in this house. So, but coming from somebody, so I, I want to change things a lot or like I will find something out when I'm out hunting and I will find, you know, I, I don't know, let's just say a hutch or, or a dresser or something that I really like. And so I want to bring it into our house. And so then, you know, I get rid of other things. Uh, but so I'm constantly redecorating or just refreshing spaces in our home just to make it feel refreshed and just kind of give me, I, I'm a creative person. And so I need those fixes. Um, flipping furniture helps me do that. But sometimes I want, I want to like do a whole room or I want to do a whole house. And so these are some things that I do. So I'm not spending a ton of money every time that that hits or that I want to do it. Um, there's de- These are definitely things that I've done over the years when I'm actually having to buy like a sofa and a chair or whatever um, that has saved us a lot of money. So <clears throat> the first thing, obviously, you want to do is shop your home. And I would love, I would love anybody listening to this podcast, I would love to challenge you. And I'm not even kidding. I would love to hear from you if you try this. So if if you're kind of in that rut too in your home and you're just like, you know, you're just kind of, ugh. And you just kind of want to change. I want you to pick a space in your home that you really want to change or just want to look different. And I want you to, over the weekend, this does not have to be a full weekend project, I'm telling you. Like this is an afternoon, um, you know, or a day while you're, you know, your husband's watching football. You could do this. You'll need his help though when, you know, there's timeouts and stuff. But literally take everything out of that room. And when I say everything, I mean, roll up the rug, take the sofa out of there, (laughs) take everything out of the room, the art on the wall, everything, take everything out of the room. And um, before you can put anything back, you need to ask yourself, what did I love about this space? What do I not like about this space? Why did I feel like this just needs a a refresh or just a, a makeover? How do we live in this space? How does this space have to function for our family? Like all those questions go through and then start putting things back slowly, but really challenge yourself to not put anything back where it was before. And You need to before you, so like in some rooms, like in our home, in some rooms, like our sofa has to be here. Our bed has to live here. Like you're going to have those rooms that are like that. But if you don't, oh my gosh, play around with that. If your bed can live on a different wall or your sofa can be on a, in a different space, play around with that. Um, but don't, so like the bigger things, obviously, if they have to be back in the same spot, put them there. But then before you hang up the same artwork or the same pictures or the same whatever you have on your walls in that room, you need to shop your home. Go around your house. Put the hall, the the photos or the pictures you have in the hallway, put that in the living room instead. You know, or if you have some pieces in your living or in your bedroom, take those out to the living room and use those instead. Um, your goal here is to you don't want the room to be the same when you get done with it, right? You you want it to be refreshed. You want it to feel redecorated. Um, and you want to just use things that you already have on hand. Head to the attic, head to the basement, head to your garage. Do you have pieces that are just, you know, being stored, quote unquote, because you don't have a place to put them? 
bring that dresser up from the basement and set it in the entry. Give your entry a makeover. Maybe it's the perfect piece to live in your entry. Um, You've just never thought that a dresser could live in an entry. We have dressers in (laughs) every room. Um, I'm looking now, not here in my office. I don't have one in my office, but we've had them in the living room. We've had them in the back, the back like screen porch that we have. Um, We've had them in every room. They are not just for bedrooms. So Um, just shop what's in your home, remove everything. And as you put things back, try and challenge yourself to use things that you already have just in a different way and bring them into that space. Maybe it's a chair you have in your bedroom that you bring out to the living room. Um, you know, it's a bench that you have at the end of the bed. Maybe that would be amazing in front of the front window. Just rethink the things and only use what's in your, in your house, um, and and see what you come up with. If you do this, I would love to hear I would love to hear how the experience went. Reach out to me on Instagram at MyCreativeDays. You can always email me to lindsay at MyCreativeDays.com. I would just love to hear if you tried tried the challenge. It is a lot of fun. um, And it just makes you, it just, the space will look totally different. And it'll just, it'll kind of waken those creative juices and just make you think outside of the box. And it's it's a lot of fun. Turn on your favorite music. (laughs) grab a snack, like make it a fun thing. It shouldn't be stressful. This is something fun to do when you've got like a, you know, a lazy afternoon. Obviously, you know, my love for thrift stores, estate sales and yard sales. Hands down, all three of them are your friends when you are trying to decorate without spending a lot of money, but they can be expensive too. And I hear that all the time now. My thrift stores are so expensive. The prices are crazy. Prices are crazy everywhere right now, and I totally get it, but you can still find those things that they haven't marked up that are amazing for your home. So definitely don't don't sleep on those. If you've got estate sales in your estate sales, depending on who's holding it, the area it's in, those kinds of things, they can be the priciest out of all three, but shop estate sales on the last day when they're half off or 75% off. Um, you'll you'll find you'll you'll still find great things on those days, but Definitely, those are your three, you know, best places to find one of a kind things to add to your home, add to your walls. Um, you know, maybe it's just a couple of old books that you set on a, an entertainment center or, you know, it doesn't have to be massive things or spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. You just need a couple of things here and there to just kind of, they'll all be one of a kind, Um you know, I always say think creatively when you're at thrift stores, keep an open mind. You can always change the color of something or you may have to give something a makeover. I'll get to those. Um, but but just it, it's the best place to find one of a kind pieces that um, that really just kind of add some charm, character and, and, a, and a story to your to your spaces in your home. Make over furniture and decor you already have. So it's kind of the same thing. It's like you're shopping your home like you would a thrift store. Keep an open mind. If there's a dresser you don't like, paint it. Add new hardware to it. Um, You know, maybe there's some frames you have down in the basement that you just hate the silver color. Spray paint them black. Um, Maybe you have a bunch of different uh, frames that are not really being used. You just kind of have them stored in the basement. Spray paint them all the same color and, and create a gallery wall. Um, they don't have to be the same frames. And actually, it's almost better sometimes if they're not. It just creates more interest. So um, just, again, think outside of the box. Use what you have, but shop your home in makeover mode, right? Like, okay, I'm going to walk through and see what I can change. I'm going to go down to, if you are lucky enough to have storage in your home, which we don't, and you have a bunch of stuff that you're just storing, um, see previous uh, podcast articles about that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> don't store things you aren't using. But if you do um, have things that you you have just storing and you're just not using, maybe you can just give it a makeover and it look totally different. So do you have an old canvas lying around that you don't really love anymore? Maybe you bought it at Home Goods. Paint over it. Like recreate a piece of art you saw at Target or something. Some of those are so look so easy to recreate that um, you may have a canvas lying around that you're not using anymore. You can recreate them pretty easily. Um, another, ask family and friends. Uh, let them know you want to redecorate the living room or you want to redecorate the whole first floor of your house and you are looking to do it, you know, on a budget. You know, you may have Aunt Sally and Cousin Dan who's got, you know, great furniture or um, some artwork or some frames or some decor and stuff that they just don't want anymore. And it's been taking up space in their, you know, basement or their attic and they'll give it to you for nothing. So um, 
family and friends, they're a good, they're a good resource to have when you're wanting to redecorate on a dime. So here's another thing that uh, has saved me a lot of money over the years. Sign up for emails to your favorite stores. So if you're somebody that's like, I need those chairs, I need those, you know, because furniture is something that you want to make sure you're, you're, you know, getting quality furniture, um, or it's just something that you really, really love at your favorite retail store, sign up for their emails. Um, usually you get a coupon code set to you right away after you do that, but then you're also on their email list when they are holding sales. And so if there's something that I've got my eye on, I will definitely do those two things. And then I also always use Rakuten. Um, if you are not signed up for Rakuten, I will put a link in the show notes for this. But whenever I'm shopping for anything online, I go through Rakuten and then they're paying you back for just going through their site. So it's a, it's a, it's an easy thing to use. Um, I'm not this is not sponsored or anything by them, but it's just it's it's another way for me to feel like I'm saving like an extra coupon. Right. Like so let's just say you signed up for Pottery Barn. I'm just using that, throwing that out and they sent you a 10 percent coupon. And then let's say you go through Rakuten again. I don't even know if they're on there right now. Um, or what their percentage is, but let's say it's an extra, you know, 5% or it's an extra 10% or sometimes it's like a, a dollar amount depending on where it is, but that's like extra money that I don't have to work for. All I have to do is go through my account, account on Rakuten and if I'm on my desktop, it's just right, it pops up whenever I'm shopping online, I just click it and then I go right back to Pottery Barn and I shop and, you know, get whatever and then they kick me a check or you can set it up different ways and go to your bank or you can get a, you know, gift card, whatever. But it's just, it just is that extra, like I said earlier, if I can find a way to save extra money anyway, I want to do it. And and like Rakuten just makes it so easy. And they also, um, if you're on their site, like you're on a, um, they will, scan through coupon codes and make sure that, you know, if there's a coupon code out there, they do the work for you, you know, and then you can plug that in. It'll say something like, oh, you can save an extra $3 if you use, you know, blah, 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 coupon code. And, you know, without me having to go look for it, they do all the work. And again, it's just extra money off of my total. So um, definitely look into it. Like I said, I'll leave a link to it in the show notes, but I use it on my phone if I'm checking out on my phone or um, you just go through the app. You have your account on the app. So you hit that and then you go to Target or Powdery Barn or wherever you're going online. I always check there first to just see if I can get an extra percentage off no matter what I'm doing. So the last thing I'm going to tell you is, and this is the one thing that is going to save you the most money when you want to decorate your home. And that's don't be in a rush. Um, I've learned this the hard way just to get the room done. You're buying things or, you know, painting the wall a certain color and just to get it done or you think you're going to love it. Live in the space, um, especially if it's a new home. Live there for a while. We have been looking for a new home and, you know, I have told Matt that I really would love to find, so both of us, we would really love to find something that needs work or just updating. And um, that's just because we just, we just love that to bring something, you know, something that's original or something and, and bringing it to just back to life. But um, I've told him, you know, with that, you know, when we first bought this house, it was kind of like, you just wanted to get it done, right? Like, just hurry up and get it done, paint the walls. And um, but then after you live here for a while, it's like, no, we don't even use a room like this. Or no, this shouldn't even go here. Or this color on the wall is horrible. What were we thinking? You know, so I just I said, if we do find a place we do move and it needs a lot of updating, I definitely will want to kind of live in it for a minute and, you know, just to try to figure out how we would use the spaces, right, you know, as we are, the season we're in, our kids are older, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, don't be in a rush and don't just go out and buy things to buy things to fill it up. I mean, if you can find, if friends and family are helping you, you're, get, you're getting a new place and they're helping you, you know, giving you their free furniture so you can fill it up that way, that's one thing. But just don't go and buy a bunch of things without really having a plan or without really knowing how you're going to live in the space or use the space or um, maybe you're somebody that's just kind of wishy-washy on what you really like. What style do you really like? Do you like white walls or do you like color? You know, do you want a green couch or would you like something more neutral? Like, you know, take some time, go through Pinterest, set up some boards, see what you continually are drawn to before you make any decisions about <clears throat> buying new stuff for your home. That is the number one thing that will save you the most money when you're decorating because it's just wasted money if you're just out there buying um a bunch of stuff just to fill it up or just to get it done. So 
Don't do that. Learn from me. <laughs> okay, those are just a few of the ways um, that I've saved money over the years. Decorating, um, it's definitely doable. You know, my whole thing with My Creative Days was you can have the home that you want exactly how you want it without breaking the bank. Um, that's why I do what I do. That's, you know, all the projects, all the furniture flipping, all the, you know, budgeting tips and, and those kinds of things um, because it's definitely doable. So I hope this was helpful. Um, share this podcast if you find these uh, episodes helpful. Reach out to me with any questions or uh, topics that you would like me to discuss here on the podcast. It's it's fun to kind of have this platform, um, just different ways to reach people. Po we have the podcast, we have the YouTube videos, we have the blog. Um, so please send me your ideas or your topics or your questions, or um, I will definitely keep them confidential. I, I don't need to share your name, uh, but it just gives me kind of an idea of what you're wanting to listen to and what you kind of need help with um, as I'm planning out the content for the podcast. So until next time, have a great day. And if you do do that challenge and take everything out of a room and then restyle it or redecorate it with what you have on hand, I would love to know. Send me a photo, share it on Instagram and tag me so I can see it. Um, because it really is fun. It really is fun. Make it fun. <laughs> Turn on your favorite music, um, but have a lot of fun with it. Okay, guys, until next time. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I'm grateful that you tune in every week and that you share the show with your family and friends. I love having creative chit chats with you, and my hope is that this podcast will inspire you to try a new project, start a DIY that you've been putting off, and decorate your home exactly how you want it. There are a few ways you can help us with the podcast. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. And if you could take a few minutes to leave the podcast a review, that would help us so, so much. Again, thank you for being here, and I look forward to our chat next week. Bye-bye.